Good afternoon and welcome to your science review with Mr. Blades. Let's go ahead and get started. You see I've already drawn the pictures so let's draw our conservation of energy general form. Sum of all energy before equals sum of all energy after. Now we can see from where the box is positioned and the fact that the velocity is zero that only potential energy exists on the left side of the equation. And at the bottom, since it's even with the ground, only kinetic energy exists. Now, based on the situation we are in, we can write our formulas for kinetic and potential energy. MGH for potential and one half MV squared for kinetic. The M's on both sides cancel out, and if we divide both sides by one half, we end up with two GH equals V squared. Now, if we square root both sides, we end up with V equals the square root of 2GH. We know both of those quantities, or at least we can calculate them. H is the height off the ground, and since we are given 16 meters down the plane, we have to actually calculate how far above the ground the box is. H in this case is 16 times the sine of 30 degrees. Sine of 30 degrees is 1 half, so we end up with 8 meters off the ground. We can put that into our equation and the square root of 2gh is 12.52 meters per second. Now we need to find out our acceleration so we can find out our distance and we're going to use our force equation. Force equals m a. Now, the only force that we have in our problem is the force of friction between the horizontal surface and the box. We remember our friction equation is mu times the normal force. Now, again, we're going to have to calculate our normal force, which in this case is just the mass of the box times the acceleration due to gravity, or 10 times 9.8, which equals 98 newtons. So if we plug that into our kinetic friction equation, we have our force of kinetic friction is 0.2 times 98 newtons, which gives us 19.6 newtons. So we can go ahead and plug that into our force equation, since that's the only force we have acting on our box, and take force K equals mass times acceleration, which is equal to 19.6 equals 10 times whatever our acceleration is. We divide both sides by 10 and we end up with an acceleration of 1.96 meters per second squared. And since that's headed in the opposite direction of the box's motion, we have negative accelerations and forces. Lastly, we take our equation Vf squared equals vi squared plus 2ad and use it to calculate distance. Our final velocity is zero. So if we plug in our initial velocity of 12.52 squared equals two times negative 1.96 times d. Sorry for obscuring all of my math. Our arithmetic gives us d is equal to 39.99 meters. I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you in class.